fabric couches can be spot cleaned as well. Now, couches need to be treated in the same way that my emotions need to be treated, mm -hmm. gently, <laughs> and you need to take your time. So just remember that. Oh yeah, that. you're a buttercup. <laughs> so, <laughs> so start first up by looking for a tag on a couch, right. which will tell you whether it be clean, whether it can be cleaned, it will generally offer some advice for right. cleaning products. Right, on, on how, right. That's right. And the more important thing is, no matter if you're using a commercial cleaner or a homemade solution, test it first on the underside. Well, I was going to say on the back side, something that isn't facing the room, that's, right? That's right. exactly right. Now, make up your own cleaning solution with a quarter cup of white vinegar. White vinegar is magic. such a useful, I love magic. it, I love it. Uh, three quarters of a cup yep. of water, and then a tablespoon or less. Don't overdo it with just uh, um, dishwashing. Not, yeah, just uh, dishwashing soap. soap that's right. right. And then shake this little baby up. Right. Like that. And then the same thing. So if there's a stain on the couch, there's a little stain right here. Just cover it's it. It's very, very, very don't, gentle. Cleanser. Don't overwork it. But it's effective. Vinegar works on everything. And then you can actually see. And you can make a nice brine for your pickles. <laughs> Well, you can see straight away. It looks great. Yeah, that starts to It clear. looks great. And, again, and it smells good, too. I love the smell of vinegar solution. I really well, do. It just, look, both the baking fresh. soda yep. and this smells fresh. Now, these guys, a fan can get so... Oh, these are just filthy. It's like, so scuzzy. Here's how you clean the I fan. I don't want to be near that, actually. Why don't you clean that, okay. Peter? Okay. <laughs> Number one. Unplug the fan. Yes. <laughs> Number one, Good unplug chip. the fan. Really important to do that then. First thing is you take the grill off. Now, often these have clips. Sometimes there are screws that are... Oh, I don't oh, want you... to touch it. Okay. It's really gross. Sometimes there are screws. Now, if there are screws, set a cup down. A oh, so you don't lose them. That's a good... put the screws yep. in that yep. so they don't get lost. Now, straight away, can we catch this? Oh. Straight away, you can see... How, how pretty gross this is. Set this aside, then there's a, a nut that holds the blade in place, so you simply unscrew this. I can't believe you're touching that, ah, it's so disgusting. Haven't you seen the stuff I do? This is, this, is, this is fun compared to most. And you can see how the grease has built up on Whoa. it. Now, bathtub, sink, or backyard with a hose, whatever works. Now, if you don't have a lot of space, this is a really simple thing you can do. Actually, this is good advice for people that live in apartments. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Get a cookie sheet, throw a towel in so it doesn't scratch the fan or the blade, drop it on, use a bit of degreaser on this, and then simply get some warm soapy water, a bit of a brush, and give it a nice scrub. It's so cute how much he loves to clean. <laughs> and then very quickly, this guy, once it's clean, it simply goes back on the fan. And the same with this now. Straight away, same thing again. Yeah. This is going to take a little more time than I can do in two minutes on right, TV. Right, because it's got a lot of nooks and crannies, like, like English muffins. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, a super amount of degreaser. Let it sit and then start cleaning it. And the main purpose I want to do this is just to show you... Like, oh, you can see oh. straight away. Okay, we get it. Okay. How much built. <laughs> so, Moving on. So, okay, okay, okay. So remember. <laughs> and then the fan's easy enough to put back together. And, and then reassemble. That's yeah. it. Really straightforward.